Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the idea of things that can help us feel better or things that give us resilience um, when we have challenging times. And we're going to think about the characters in the play and um, some of the situations, the challenging situations that they face and what things help them in their difficulties, what activities, what relationships help them get through the tough time that they're experiencing. So I'm going to give you some time with your teacher or whoever's leading your group. And I'd like you all to see how many of the challenging situations you can recall and how many of the relationships and activities that they do um, you can recall as well. I'll see you later. Welcome back. Hopefully you've had a really good discussion um, around the challenging situations and the relationships and activities they use or that they have that help them to feel better. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to say some words and I believe that these words are connected in some way to their challenging situations and I would like you all to use your body and to use your face and I'd like you to show how these words make you feel okay so I'm going to say these words and you're going to show how they make you feel using your face and your body so here we go loss rejection Injustice, change, confrontation, being in the wrong, and relax. Great, well done. So how did those words make you feel? I would like to think that, or propose that they're generally words that we associate with difficult situations and they create difficult feelings. Um, have a think, how can you link these words to the situations in the play? Where do you find loss? Where do you find rejection, injustice, change, confrontation and being in the wrong? Okay, great. Okay, so I'm very quickly, I would like to propose that we understand where loss appears in the play. Uh, Jabala and Munir have both lost a parent and also there's the loss of the bracelet and the um, rejection. Where does rejection happen in the play? Hmm. Well, Jabala rejects Munir's uh, advances of friendship and she also gets rejected by Amy, the prettiest girl in the school. Um, injustice, when does injustice happen in the play? Hmm. That's a really interesting one. I would propose that Munir might feel a sense of injustice because the loss of his father has happened through a bombing um, and that might make him feel that the world is unfair. Equally, uh, Sarah the Jinn might feel a sense of injustice because she wants to be a human and can't be a human. So have a think about that. Um, change. Change happens throughout the piece, doesn't it? Change happens throughout the piece. Um, but obviously the loss of a relative or a loved person is, um, the biggest change you can possibly experience. Confrontation. Munir decides to confront Sarah the Jinn, doesn't he, about the, the base bracelet that she has. And he's like, mm, okay. And then being in the wrong. 
Sarah the Jinn realizes that she's in the wrong and she gets very defensive about it, doesn't she? She gets upset, goes, no, 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 I'm much stronger than you. And she gets really upset about it. Okay, so those are the those are those experiences based on the story. So what we'd like you to do now is we would like you to have a think about yourself. Um, what things you have in your life um, that would help you if you, like the characters in the play, were experiencing some difficult times. Things that might help you have resilience, the ability to bounce back from challenges and difficulties. So things you might want to think about. What people or relationships do you have in your life that might help you? Uh, what activities, what things do you do that might help you? So for a few examples, these might be activities that make you feel emotionally better, like hugging someone you love or stroking a pet or going for a walk in nature, perhaps, something along those lines. Um, they might be social activities like meeting up with friends or playing games with friends or doing sporting activities with friends. Um, they could be physical activities like um, doing sports on your own if you like jogging or it could be eating good food, uh, healthy food or um, dancing or singing. Um, it could also be um, mental or creative activities like reading a book or drawing a picture, playing a musical instrument or watching movies. Um, so those are some examples of things you might want to think about. And then also what personal qualities do you have that might help you um, if you were experiencing difficulties? Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we'd like you all to draw a picture, including as many of those things as possible. And perhaps you might want to have um, it in a circle and in your circle, divide it into those, those different parts of emotional, social, physical, mental, and creative. Okay. Um, so have a think, enjoy your drawing. We look forward to seeing the results. And um, I'm sure you're all looking forward to sharing your results as well. And um, have a good time. <laughs>